Hello and welcome to the 24th annual Hawthorne Parks and Recreation Foundation Golf Tournament. I'm Amy Davis. And I'm Jennifer Murillo. We are at the Rolling Hills Country Club in Rolling Hills Estates, which is located only 11 miles away from Hawthorne. There are 23 teams here today ready to swing their clubs for a good cause. So let's head over to the putting contest where players are getting started. Some of the players wanted to get in some extra practice pre-tournament by entering the putting contest, while others just wanted in on the fun. It definitely gets you warmed up for uh, when you get in the real competition out there in the field. Not all of the players participated in this short event, but for those that did, winning was definitely a goal to strive for. Basically, it's uh, you try to uh, get the ball in the hole inside those strings in as few putts as possible. The uh, people with the lowest score win. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think that I was in that group, but uh, I had, did have a lot of fun. Oh well. Players have already practiced their skills at the putting contest and are now about to officially start the scramble. This is the first time the tournament is being held at the Rolling Hills Country Club, so let's go find out more about this golf course. We try to pick a golf course, one that is a private golf course, that way those that participate can go on to a course that they never have an opportunity to play on. Only a short drive from Hawthorne, this course provides a premier setting for this tournament. We have a waterfall, I have a couple lakes, um, lots of wildlife, lots of horses, you know, roaming around outside in the outskirts of the, um, the course to look at, and you have some views of the city of Los Angeles. The course was established in 1965 as a nine-hole par three golf course, and by 1972, it had expanded to what it is today. Nice, quiet, serene, who can have any problem with this view up here? The 6,200 yard course and numerous trees provides a challenge to many golfers. It's a beautiful uh, country club as well. They think, oh, you know, I'll be able to do a good job out there. But when they get here, it's very narrow, it's very challenging. Many trees, over 1,800 trees on the golf course. Um, that's the challenge and the greens are very fast. Since we've gotten familiar with this course, let's go to Amy to find out why the foundation has put on this tournament. Thanks, Jennifer. Today's golf tournament benefits children and seniors of Hawthorne in a variety of ways. The first way is through swim lesson scholarships. The proceeds this year will be going to uh, swim lessons for underprivileged children. And uh, we've been doing that for a number of years, but we want to expand it this year because it's uh, we find there's more children that aren't getting swimming lessons because of the, uh, the cost. It's expensive, and uh, but the kids are worth it. The second way the Hawthorne Parks and Recreation Foundation will use the proceeds is to add more equipment to the Hawthorne Memorial Park Fitness Zone, as well as offer financial support to local youth sports. Hawthorne Parks and Rec uh, does a lot of things inside the community, you know, I mean, they, for the kids. I think they do a great job and it's really fun and definitely for a worthy cause. But if it weren't for each player's participation in this year's tournament, the foundation would not be able to raise the funds to support these causes. We're playing for the Parks and Recreation Foundation uh, to help support them in raising money in all of the uh, charitable, um, you know, endeavors that they uh, participate in. Golden State's uh, obviously happy to be able to contribute and uh, come out and participate in, in a worthy event. This year with the money that was raised from the tournament, they estimate that they will be able to give swim scholarships to 150 kids. Teams are more than halfway through the tournament, so let's check and see how they're doing. Uh, we're doing pretty good. We got off to a good start, uh, a little rocky at some points. Um, a couple times, but I think we're right uh, in the middle. We started off, um, you know, with a couple pars, but as time went on, uh, we started doing some birdies. Split into teams of four, the 92 players were playing at their best. See, folks, that's exactly how it's done each and every time. Uh, we're 600 par after, what, 12 holes, 13 holes? 11 holes, 11 holes, so not doing too bad. We've heard about half of them, so it's good. I think uh, there's a, a lot of competitive teams out there, but I think uh, for us it was just a matter of us being out here and supporting the, the Hawthorne Parks and Recs Foundation. While the players stay focused on their swing, let's check in with Amy to see what prizes they can win today. 
Thanks, Jennifer. This year, the grand prize is a two-year lease on this brand new Ford Escape. In the past, no one's ever been able to win the car. Will someone do it this year? A car would be nice. That's the 13th hole for a hole in one, but you know that's pretty hard to do. But it'd be nice to do it though. So there's a lot of good prizes. I think people will not be disappointed this year. We have an iPad for the closest to the pin. The other closest to the pins are uh, are either uh, a gas $25 gas card from Chevron or $25 cash. Additionally, players have a chance to win a new driver and golf clubs. And based on past golf tournaments, Dick Miller has a prediction about the possibility of someone winning the car. Nobody won the car. <laughs> well, Jennifer, it's been an eventful day and it isn't over yet. You're right, Amy. Let's head into the banquet and find out who won what. That was uh, 12 strokes over par. All right. <laughs> and it's the gas company. <laughs> While last place went to the gas company, Chevron Products took third, Miller's All-Stars second, and first went to... Golden State Water. As the teams gladly accepted their awards, Mark Hardison, Assistant Director of Recreation and Community Services, expressed his gratitude over the support the city and community receives from the foundation. We're really pleased that we have a lot of sponsors that are with us year after year. You know, some years they may not contribute the amount that they have in the past, but, but they're always willing to give something. After acknowledging the sponsors, they also thanked those who participated in this year's tournament. Now here's the leaderboard with the final numbers. Congratulations to all the winners of the 24th Annual Parks and Recreation Foundation Golf Tournament. The foundation raised around $27,000 this year. Well, that's going to do it for us here today at the Rolling Hills Country Club. I'm Amy Davis. And I'm Jennifer Murillo. We'll see you next year.